Now turning to the ongoing drought tonight that could prompt more restrictions here in the valley, the Bureau of Reclamation, a federal agency, now says shortages with the Colorado River system, which serves seven states, taking a grim turn. They say if water use is not cut drastically by next year, Lake Mead may not be capable of delivering safe drinking water and power to millions. The reservoir has dropped to an all-time low of 28% capacity with no relief in sight. And that bureau is now urging three Southern California water districts to complete another major reduction agreement in just two months. That includes water agencies right here in the desert. So how much river water do these districts use? Carmela Karcher did a little digging to find those answers. She joins us live in studio now with the latest. Carmela. Olivia, the Imperial Irrigation and Coachella Valley Water Districts are the two biggest water regulators in the desert. And with the drought forcing more federal regulations, we broke down where each district gets its water from and how it flows right into your tap. At 5, we showed you how Imperial Irrigation distributes its water. But tonight at 6, here's a look how it works for the Coachella Valley Water District. The Colorado River provides water to seven states in the western part of the country and serves about 40 million people, including here in Southern California. But as of Tuesday, federal officials are asking three major water districts, including some here in the Coachella Valley, to cut back. So how does a desert even get its water in the first place? For the Coachella Valley Water District, one source starts at Lake Mead in Nevada, where the water then flows through the Colorado River into the Imperial Dam, located north of Yuma. We divert water from the All-American Canal and, and they send it to the customers who, who have, um, you know, allocations for water for Colorado River water. And so Coachella Valley Water District um, receives that water through the Coachella Canal. But the Colorado River water isn't used for drinking. It's used partially for replenishing the aquifer located underground. We are lucky enough here in the Coachella Valley to have a groundwater basin, also known as an aquifer. And an aquifer holds sand, gravel, there's a clay layer. And so that's all underneath us, but it also holds water between all those gravel and sand pieces. And it also acts as a natural filter for water. And we also have wells that we drill about 1,200 feet down into the ground and they pump water um, out of the ground. And then they go through a system on demand to homes and businesses. So that when you turn on your tap, that water is coming from um, a well that pumped it out of the ground. And with the mid-August deadline fast approaching, CVWD continues to ask its customers to conserve. We do want to conserve that water, especially during dry years when the state and the rest of the Southwest is going through um, continuous dry years. And so we, you know, here at Coachella Valley Water District, we always ask customers, all customer types, to conserve water. Federal officials are pressing for another reduction agreement by mid-August. We will keep you updated once those agreements start to develop and what that means for our water in the desert. In studio, I'm Carmela Karcher. Back to you.